Hi, everyone. My name is Rick, and maybe you've heard in the podcast about this example that I would like to share. It's a pipeline that fetches data by scraping comments off of a form on the internet, then inserts it into a vector database called Weaviate, which is open source, just like Orcist. And it then allows you to query said database using a Python-based streamlit application. If none of these words mean anything to you, I'll go step-by-step step to explain to you what it's all about. But basically, it's about making content searchable in a semantic way. So semantic search doesn't just do a one-to-one -one mapping of text queries to text content, but it actually tries to assign conceptual meaning to such uh, two uh, paragraphs and words of text, and it will try to match your query with the underlying meaning to find the relevant content, even if it's formulated in an entirely different way than in the text query of your search. And so what you're seeing on the screen is the Orcist user interface. This is a pipeline developed in Orcist, and it's really just simply two steps, two notebooks that get executed. And it's really about fetching the data from a website and then inject, injecting that into a database. So I'm going to switch to JupyterLab to show you the code. It's actually quite short and simple. So this code is responsible for fetching the web page and that contains the HTML that we're parsing that contains the comments. It, it also tries to capture uh, the date stamp. So we have a little bit of metadata about this comment and it just fetches it, uh, all of it. And it really uh, uh, structures it in a very simple JSON-like dictionary that then gets passed to the next step. So this is like the only Orcus related line of code in this entire notebook. That's how we pass data and make it available to any step that gets connected to it. So in this pipeline, you can see that there's this, this connection um, and this connection uh, basically uh, allows you to get access to the data in the next step. So in the next step, this insert Weaviate notebook, um, we're basically able to get access to those comments and use the built-in Python client um, of Weaviate to be able to uh, ingest. Like it's basically loading data into a database. And because they've written, they've written this really nice, uh, nice Python client, it's very easy to actually uh, add this data into Weaviate. 8 You can see how simple the code is. It's just, uh, I don't know, 10 cells uh, that even do a little bit of stuff you don't really need to do, like printing the client. And it uh, just deletes existing objects. So we start with uh, from a clean slate, fetches the comments using this Orcus get inputs function uh, from the previous step in the pipeline, and then injects it into the, the database. And so if we um, uh, take a look at uh, the final piece of code that's part of this project, which is the Streamlit application, it basically uses a connection to the WeV8 database to allow you to then query uh, using this simple querying uh, structure that is also part of their Python uh, SDK. So it's like all Python in this project should be fairly simple to follow source code. And the end result is that we can, for a, a given user, I've, I've, I've added my own user ID, uh, it fetches the, the comments, injects it into EV8, and then makes it available as a uh, Python application. So let me... Um, uh, show you what it's like to use this Streamlit application. You can enter a query so I can search for uh, uh, like a hard disk and it will actually find this comment even though I talk about HDDs, which then WeV8 knows um, is um, uh, this actual concept of a hard drive. And, and in fact, uh, WeV8 supports multiple languages. And so because this is a Dutch website, I've created uh, this example using a Dutch language model. So having ability to do semantic search in non-native languages to English, I think is really cool because it allows you to search content uh, in all kinds of languages. And so I can search for Dutch words like uh, house, uh, and it will actually uh, talk about uh, one of my questions I asked about moving uh, to uh, to a city. And so I think this um, 
uh, example really shows you how you can use Orcas to uh, piece together three interesting concepts, which is like web scraping of comments that are on the public internet, then injecting that into a semantic search database like Weviate, and then using a, a simple application like uh, Streamlit to be able to gener uh, generate a simple UI uh, that allows you to actually uh, take advantage of um, the content or the database that you've created. So I would um, recommend everybody to check it out on GitHub. I'll link it uh, below. It contains the full repository uh, with all of the information, including the README. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I, I hope this was an interesting example that um, uh, you can uh, use to get started with either Weviate or Orcus. Uh, it has a open an Orcus button in the repository that you can use to spin up the example on Orcus Cloud. We have this free tier that you can use. Um, so leave any comments. If you have questions, we really like seeing people engage with the content we put out. Um, so uh, yeah, this, this was it from my end and hope it uh, was somewhat interesting. <laughs>